It happens every year, but it's always quite a spectacle. A parade to commemorate victory over Nazi Germany 72 years ago. An estimated 27 million soldiers and civilians from the Soviet Union died in the Second World War. I really have no words to describe it. We were watching it with tears in our eyes. It's important for the whole country, for every person, to feel this Victory Day. Because of that victory, we are alive, and our children will be alive because of that. Temperatures have dropped here over the last few days, but that didn't stop the crowds coming out to watch as the parade made its way from Red Square through the streets of the capital. Even though this is for domestic consumption, there is no denying that this kind of military might sends a message abroad. And what is different this year is the show of its latest Arctic military equipment. And the timing of this is interesting. These are surface-to-air missiles that can operate in sub-zero temperatures. Russia recently announced the completion of a new Arctic military base. It also has a special Arctic unit. Russia has a superior ability to deal with the region's harsh conditions than any other nation. And as the ice melts due to global warming, more countries are vying for the region's vast unexplored energy reserves. In Moscow, we find some British students. It's amazing. Like, we've never seen this sort of thing before. There's such a good atmosphere here. It's really cool. And we ask if they think parades like this are seen as a show of force. I think some people can misinterpret it as like they're boasting or they're like so military based, but I don't know, it's just a celebration. Yeah, it's nice seems so patriotic. Yeah, of their victory, that's what it is, it's just a celebration. It's a day that unites most Russians. It's hard to find a family who didn't have a relative who fought in the war. Some came back, many didn't. And many will tell you that it's important to remember, but these days it's also about national pride. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Moscow.